This is James Fretwell for Queen's Radio um, on, uh, with Amplified, and we're here with Scam. Can you just introduce yourselves um, and your role in the band for the radio? I'm Matt, and I play bass. <laughs> My name's Steve, I'm the guitarist and the lead singer. Um, I'm Ray, and I'm the drummer. Great stuff. So, um, can you tell us where the name came from? Interesting name. <laughs> well, it's, <laughs> it was... Uh, when we started out, we, we went through a number of name changes and uh, we, we had to sit down one night and come up with a name that was a, a little bit more viable because we, we, were, we were touring under some ridiculous names. At one point we were known as like Public Air and all this kind of thing. So we sat down one night with a few beers and we were trying to put together a name and literally we had hundreds of names in, in a basket and uh, Scam was popped in there and we just decided that was the best one for us to go with. Literally put them in bits it, of paper and... Yeah, it, <laughs> we, 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 you know spread them all out and it was one of the only ones that we all agreed that was good enough you know all, all, of, the other, all of the other ones were crap so well, all crap. public hair i thought was quite cool <laughs> that was just me it's the best of a bad bunch basically <laughs> <laughs> um so tell us about the band itself what makes scam special and unique i think the fact we're um, a three-piece is unique now mm -hmm. you know, you got many three-piece bands knocking around so and that's the unique feature of us. The fact that we rock. About it, really. Yeah, we're a good old fashioned rock band. You know, it, there's no real gimmicks to it. There's just, we just play mm. solid balls to the wall rock and roll. And that's the kind of thing that we think is, is missing a lot in modern music nowadays. There's a lot of, um, I don't want to say gimmicks, but there's a lot of uh, specific marketing and that sort of thing. And, you know, we, we've just done it an old fashioned way. You know, we've played a lot of small pubs around the country and we've done tours that we've done by ourselves without any help from anybody else sort of thing and that's a, a little bit what makes us different I suppose. In terms of our, in terms of our sound I, I truly believe that we, we grew up, the time when we were growing up mainly like through the 90s and whatnot there was a, lots of different musical styles that we were into <laughs> That you know the grunge scene and like uh, like the tail end of glam coming out and, uh, and, and Guns N' Roses and that kind of stuff. We've got really quite diverse musical tastes and influences. Mm. We, and you know I, I'm I'm into like some some metal like Pantera and that kind of thing. And we've just kind of put all those squashed together. And you'll hear like in the songs that we play, you hear quite a lot of those different influences coming in at different points in the song. So we like I like to think that we're just an amalgamation of different styles. <laughs> just the best of everything, yeah, generally. Like, yeah. <laughs> the cream. Yeah. Nothing specific. Yeah. You take the best bits out of yeah. each genre, yeah. combine them, we get Scam. Yeah. Awesome stuff. So, um, at what point in your lives do you think you, you knew that you wanted to be musicians or even performers? Maybe you fell into it accidentally. I don't know. <laughs> um, well, for me personally, it was when I found out I wasn't good enough to be a footballer. So. <laughs> <laughs> Every, everyone seems to say that. <laughs> so I needed something else. But um, no, I mean, I've always loved music. You know, as a kid growing up, we never had the TV on that much. It was always music. It was the radio or my mum and dad, my brother and my sister. They were all playing their own sort of music so that's what kind of got me into it and every, a lot of kids I knew at the time were playing guitar and so I kind of strayed away from that I didn't want to do what everybody else was doing and then um, you know there was there was people like uh, sorry, uh, drummers like John Bonham and Jimmy Chamberlain who I listened to and it just they seemed to be doing something really different and that's what sort of turned me on to playing the drums so that's why I personally took up playing the drums and I've played in multiple different bands because uh, where we're from in Leicester apparently there's only about four drummers so <laughs> you end up playing in loads of different bands so in, in that in that respect it worked out quite well and then um, I met these guys and we've just been sort of working hard ever since really. When, when did you meet up by the way? Um, about 2007, 2008 I think it was. Yeah. It's been about four years isn't it? Yeah. Four odd years. I mean, me and Steve have been gigging together far too long to mention. <laughs> But, uh, We've yeah. been in some corny little yeah. three-piece punk bands, yeah. and <laughs> All right. you know, and uh, living the dream. Living the dream. <laughs> it, it, it's not very exciting, but just being young and being kids and wanting to get on stage and play very, very loud music, and then over time, <laughs> we tried to hone it down and become actual. <laughs> Oh, I'm not, I dare say professionals, but we're not. But you know, <laughs> actually try and get better <laughs> at what we do. But it's been in the past four years, really, that. We've taken that direction, you know, when Ray joined the band. We've 
we've just achieved more, you know, and just play better gigs and just try to push things harder. And like Steve said, just get a little bit more professional with everything. It know? wasn't like after Ray joined the band that we decided we <coughs> needed to get better, yeah. and we actually yeah. started paying attention to how to play and that yeah. kind of thing. So, well, so <laughs> yeah, Ray was the key. Yeah, it was the piece, true, yeah. the missing piece of the puzzle. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah, <laughs> it was just you know, gave us that platform really to yeah. to move forward and get better. So yeah, definitely. Pretty flattering stuff. Right? <laughs> That's the nicest thing they've ever said about. <laughs> so, what's the best thing about being scam? <clears throat> Going on tour, gigging, definitely for me. Yeah, it's all about the gig. We put a lot of hard work in behind the scenes, and you just, you know, it's about there's loads to do. And it all just comes down to the fact that you get to rock out for half hour. Mm. I think that's I that's the main thing about mm. us as a band. All three of us. The the one thing that we love above all else is is the live gig. You know, it's um, whether we've done covers gigs for weddings or birthdays, <laughs> or you know, we, we've done a, a twenty minute set in some pub in the middle of nowhere to the bar staff. You know, we we just love to play live, and we give everything we got every time we play. Because mm. you know, even if one person says, you know, that's that's really one of the best performances I've ever seen. I'll you know. I really like you guys and what have yeah. you. If they start to follow us, then they, it makes it all worth it in a, in a sort of corny kind of way. But it, it does make you feel valued in a way when someone turns around and says, you know, that was a really good gig. I really like your music. It's mm. someone appreciating something you've created. Yeah. And it, it, the kind of, the, the joy from that alone is, is worth all the, the hardships that, you know, fans go yeah. through in general. Mm -hmm. So Definitely. The best bit is walking into, into like here today. Walking into Mandela Hall and checking out the stage and thinking, oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be up there later. It's just great. Yeah, absolutely awesome. So fantastic. <laughs> this must be. Is this the first time that you guys have been to Ireland? There. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, as a band, you know, we've played sort of uh, England, Scotland, and Wales before, but we've we've never had the chance or opportunity to come over to Ireland, um, either Northern Ireland or you know. Uh, Dublin or anywhere like that. Because so, you were there last night, weren't you? Yeah, yeah. We, we played uh, Whelan's in Dublin. Um, it was an absolutely fantastic gig, really good mm. atmosphere. Um, but yeah, it, it, we, like we said, we really enjoy playing live. So if there's people out there that want to see us, we'll play. Mm. That's that's all we need, really. If if you're looking if you're looking for a band, we'll play anywhere, sort of thing. We don't really care. <laughs> about yeah, it. It's something like the A Team. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you've got a problem when you can find us. Funnily yeah. enough, we we, uh, we sat down at the beginning of the year and just jotted down some things. You know, like a bit of an action plan, like what, what we want to do this year and that kind of thing. Uh, and and that was before we we managed to get on this tour. And we one of the things that we said is by the end of the year we'd have liked to have played a gig in Ireland. And, yeah. and yeah. as it happens, we managed to yeah. do three in a weekend. So <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty yeah. cool. Yeah. Yeah. It must be great as well. Like as you said, that you know you've been playing at pubs and weddings or whatever. Yeah, yeah which must be great. You, but, you know, you must come to Mandela Hall and think. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. We've yeah. you know with so, definite yeah, progression. All those years of hard work and mm. it's kind of come to this. We keep yeah. Doing <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Certainly keep giving ourselves little little winks. Ah. Yeah, to sort of play in a venue of this kind of level, this stature. You know, some of the bands that have played here before, and especially at a venue of this size, is um, you know, it's it's something that all three of us as a band have dreamed of and now we're sort of beginning to touch on that level I wouldn't say we've made it just yet you know this this is one tour support but it's certainly a, a big step in the right direction for, for us as a band mm. so I mean I was a bit taken aback when we walked into the, the, the main hall today because obviously when we played last night Whelan's it's kind of a it's not Quite the capacity or size of, More of a club of, venue, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Um, but don't get me wrong; it's a fantastic mm. venue. Uh, but this is more sort of heading in towards the arena direction. And, you know, it's, uh, I was a little bit yeah. taken aback when we first came in, but um, I'm sort of—I'll get used to it as the, as the day goes on. I'll get a bit more comfortable after sound check, <laughs> I suppose.